We are also on standby for a coronavirus update from the state health secretary, Dr. Mike Galley. We're going to bring that to you live when that happens. But first, just moments ago, Marin County joined four other Bay Area counties in the state's voluntary shelter in place order. KPIX 5's Emily Turner joining us live now from Larkspur with how Marin County residents are reacting. Emily. everybody healthy, but not necessarily the fact that it's going to affect businesses. Some of them, but just right here, a tale of two businesses. This one allowed to continue to operate outside just next door. That open sign will soon be off, and it is tough for so many people up here. You'll be left stranded in Marin County if you're looking for a seated lunch, last minute manicure, or a dry cleaners. And the owners of those businesses are in bad shape too. Every business here is suffering. In Marin County, at least I know four, five, six dry cleaners have closed. This go-round, there are some changes from March. Retail is allowed to continue at 20% capacity, and gyms can still operate outside. Well, we ended up on a good side of this. I think they made the right decision to let, allow us to operate outside. It's apparent that healthier people are coming through this thing better. But there is still frustration that Marin County is voluntarily going into lockdown. It was the last Bay Area a holdout in the red tier with only three ICU cases last week. But after this KPIX 5 interview last week, Marin County Health Officer Dr. Matt Willis reversed course, joining four other Bay Area counties with a self-imposed stay-at-home order. Are there any additional layers that, that you're considering instituting on top of what the state already requires? Yeah, it sounds to me like, you know, the state, um, because it's now essentially a purple state um, with a few exceptions, and so that's where, you know, I think we would tie our, our own policies in Marin to what the state is offering in terms of those guardrails. Now, many businesses say they may be going off the rails. Some are considering protesting his decision, while others may flout the order altogether if their bottom line becomes too dire. I'm not a rebel. I, I like to do the things according to the law and by the... Uh, order. I'm willing to sacrifice to but, a certain point. Now we did reach out to Dr. Willis about why he decided to change course this morning, but as you can imagine, it's a very busy day, so we have not yet heard back from him. But of course, when we get that information and as everything continues to unfold, including this soon-to-be press conference in San Francisco, we'll be sure to pass that along to you. Reporting live in Marin County, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.